In this lecture, we will learn about what happens under the hood of the computer when a program is run. There is an area of memory inside of the computer called Random Access Memory, or RAM. All of the different programs on your computer have their own space in the RAM. As I mentioned in a previous lecture, computers only understand binary code, made up entirely of ones and zeros. The computer is really just a collection of transistors, or on-off switches with one being on and zero being off. The code that we write has to be converted multiple times before the computer can understand it. When we write a program in Python, for example, the computer does several things. First, it translates the Python source code into assembly language. After that, it takes the assembly language and converts it to machine language. Then it takes the machine language and converts that to binary code, ones and zeros. At this point, the instructions of the algorithm are in a form that the computer can understand. To run a program, there is a cycle of four steps. The computer fetches the next instruction from the RAM. Then it decodes what it has to do. It looks at the instruction and sees exactly what it is being asked to do. Then the instruction is executed, meaning that the task is carried out. Finally, the result will be stored. The process then repeats. After the store step, the next instruction is fetched and the cycle continues. That is a basic overview of what happens under the hood of the computer when we run a program. In the next lecture, we will learn about the heap and the stack and the role that they play in computer programming.